10 Badminton Service Rules of 2024. The first rule and one of the newest rules that have been implemented is service height. These days, service height has been changed to a distance of 1.5 meters from the surface of the ground. What does that mean? Well, you literally get a measurement and do 1.15 meters all the way up. Because obviously, people who are much taller, like Victor Axelson, can get a service advantage. And this is especially useful when you're playing doubles and very close to the net, you can serve more downwards so that your opponent has a harder time attacking the shot. Rule number two is service boxes and service lines. When you're serving in badminton, you always have to serve to the box across from you diagonally. Now there's two types of service lines in singles and in doubles. When you're playing singles play, all your service has to pass the first line on the court and be within the center line as well as the first line on the outside of the court. Now there are no restrictions to where you serve until the back line of the court. How does doubles differ? Well, the front and the center of the court are gonna stay the same, but instead, we're moving this back line forward one, and we are moving this sideline outside one. Singles is more about longitude, and doubles is more about latitude when serving with lines. Fixed server and receiver positions. When you are serving or receiving, you have to stay within your own relative box. If we are playing singles, I'm not allowed to cross this line until after I have striked my shuttle. So before I strike my shuttle, I can decide to serve anywhere within my singles box and I can only pass those lines or step outside of those lines after I've hit the shot. Same for receiving. When I'm receiving, I can only wait inside my box to hit the shot and I cannot stand outside of my box waiting for the bird. Now this only applies to the receiver because in doubles, your partner will be standing on the other side of the box. The next rule is stationary position. Serving or receiving, you're not allowed to move until the serve has been made. You have to stand firm already, you hit, and then you can lift your feet off the ground. So make sure both your feet are flat on the ground and they cannot lift the ground until you've hit the shuttle. Same for receive of serve. When you're receiving serve, your feet cannot move until your opponent has striked the shuttle. Now, a lot of people might cheat their momentum. They might go forward a little bit to get the shot earlier, but their feet cannot leave the ground until after the shuttle has been striked. Our fifth rule is that you cannot hide the badminton shuttle. But what does hiding the badminton shuttle mean? One, it could be something like, you put it behind your back and then when you're about to serve, boom, you suddenly serve. Or another more realistic one is you could be hiding it somewhere behind your arm and then as you come, you come strike it. Or you're hiding it behind your hand like this so that you can't see my shuttle head and then as I'm going to hit it, I release and strike it. Why is this a fault? It's because on receive, it's very important to see the shuttle head in order to predict where the shuttle is going. If you cannot see the sh shuttle head, then you cannot see where your opponent is going to serve, making it very difficult to have a good rally in badminton. And that's important for commercial usages because you want to have good rallies. Our sixth rule is that the serve has to be below the waist. I know our first rule was that the serve has to be 1.15 meters, but it also has to be below the waist. In our serves, we don't want to serve an attacking serve. Okay, that's what they want to prevent because they want better rallies. That's why one, the height rule, and second, below the waist, meaning you can only hit shots upwards if it's below the waist. And the waist is defined as your lowest rib cage. So it's gonna be somewhere around here, your waist. The seventh rule is that the serve must be executed in a continuous forward motion or continuous forward motion on forehand. So what does a non-continuous forward motion look like? Well, it could be something like this. So when you're ready to serve, I'm about to serve and then whoa, 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 boom, and then I serve. Same for forehand. You might go like whoa, 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 boom. Why is this illegal? Because it's really damn stupid. The eighth badminton rule is that there is no double hitting the shuttle. Meaning when you serve, you have to contact the shuttle in one go. A double hit means something like you hit it slowly and then boom, you hit it again. Most of the times, this is probably some sort of pushing motion, pushing the shuttle across. Or something like this, you hit it one time and then boom, double hit. The ninth service rule is that you cannot serve the shot before your opponent is ready. 
Meaning if your opponent is still walking around the court recovering, then you are not allowed to hit your serve. When are you allowed to hit your serve? Once your opponent has come to their service receive spot, has stabilized with both feet and obviously are making eye contact with you, then you are allowed to serve. The tenth rule and last rule of bad service is going to be the point system in service. Now here are a few rules in this. Number one, the winner of the point will always serve. In singles, all even sign numbers are going to be on the right side and all odd numbers will be served on the left side. For example, if you have five points, you will serve on the left side. If you have eight points, you will serve on the right side. In doubles, since you have partners in both sides of the boxes, for example, I just won a point and I just became the eighth point. The person on the right, even side, will begin to serve the shuttle. If they win the point, they will continue to switch sides and serve the shuttle. If they lose the point, then it will go to the other side. Now let's say for the next time you win the point, you win it on the ninth point. So that means the partner on the left side will take the shuttle and serve the shuttle. And if they win continuous points, they will continue to serve on both sides rotating. Join our YouTube memberships to decide what video we make next and also try watching some of these.